Give us your paw. Hey, this one, this one, boy. Wait, now look at this. Ah, ah. Wait, but wait. Go on, good boy, go on. What is going on YouTube? It is Angus. Haven't come at you guys with a video in a little while, so I thought, why not do a bit of an insight into an If It Fits You Macros flexible dieting full day of bulking? Because the last time that I did a video for you guys, it was on, um, obviously there was a review and a couple of other videos, but the last time that I did a, you know, a, a full day in the life of eating type scenario was when I was still maintaining, which was earlier in the year. And if you haven't checked that video out, here's a bit of a insight just here and I can leave the link below so you can check out. But um, yes, guys, so my bulk for this year in 2018 has gone very strong. I started it at about 75 kilos and I am now on, um, as you can see here, it is the, uh, the 18th of March. There we go. See? Um, if I give you a bit of an insight just now so you can see that I'm not bluffing or feeding you bullshit or anything like that. Um, yeah, as of today, I am, here's my, uh, my fitness power street, as you can see, that's my weight going up, and 83 kilos as of today. So I track my weight every day in my fitness power just so that I can compare averages from week to week. But yeah, so I've officially gained eight kilos so far, um, you know, this year. Um, it's gone very, very well, my bulk. So what I want to do in this video is do a bit of a, I guess, you know, full day of eating so you can see exactly the sort of foods I like to eat. Today's a Sunday. So on Sundays is usually where, because it's a rest day, I don't have pre and post workout nutrition in the morning like I normally do during the week. So it leaves some more calories to be able to have some fun with. So I'll be making some cool bits and bobs today um, it's coming up for lunchtime soon so I haven't eaten anything just yet so my current intake as it stands is just here as you can see um, 3700 just over there that's where my intake is at at the moment um, I try to get in about 140 to 150 grams of carbs my fats around 110 and the rest I devote to carbs which is usually about 520 to 550 to fill up my intake. So I'm gonna take you through how a day can look like for me, throw in some knowledge bombs and stuff like that so I can share with you guys exactly what I've been doing. Um, yeah, my physique is still looking lean, as you can see. Still got abs. Chest has still got striations. Um, and keep in mind that this is all done naturally as well. So natural bodybuilding is the way to go. It's stuff that I absolutely love. And um, you know, part of my mission here within this channel is to educate you guys around how you can be leaning down or adding muscle and stuff like that naturally through the power of just epic nutrition, killing it with your exercise and your workouts. Um, that's just what it's all about, yeah? Um, so let's get stuck into it and I'll see you in meal one. So it is Angus voice over time. Once again, just wanted to say a huge welcome back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber. And hey, if you're new to the channel, well then a huge welcome to you. This channel is dedicated to basically just recipes. It's dedicated to flexible dieting. It's dedicated to epic training. It's just, it's just an epic channel. You're gonna absolutely love it. So I really encourage you to subscribe. So here you can see me, I'm whipping up a bit of a, uh, you know, a fat dense um, chocolate bar. The reason why I wanted to just do this was so that that way during the week when it comes to actually getting in fats and stuff like that, this is one of the things that I like to do um, rather than just say, so for example, munging away on boring peanut butter by itself. This is a great way to be to get in lots of calories. And as you would have seen, just over 200 calories per serve. And this recipe makes 12 of these suckers. How good is that? So legends, welcome to the first meal of the day. So how good was that to be able to get some Sunday baking happening? I haven't actually tried, um, you know, eating I guess what it is that we made just then, just yet. I'll be having some of that for dessert tonight, so stay tuned for that. So when it comes to me and bulking, like every single day I will usually have a big mother salad which usually weighs about a kilo or so. And the intention of that is to be able to get just in a lot of micronutrients and get in a shitload of fiber. 
So that way, it's just done pretty much in one hit. And it means then that, you know, I can have a bit of protein with it. And it means then that my later meals in the day don't have to be so nutrient dense. Um, plus, it means that I can get in a lot of volume for not a massively amount of calories. So in this sort of case, as you would have seen um, from the, uh, you know, like just from the footage before, like it's just <laughs> lots of vegetables and vegetables aren't loaded with much calories, but it's just to be able to fill you up, um, you know, I guess. Uh, and like given that in Australia at the moment as well, it's still autumn, so it's still quite hot So I don't yet like having you know lots of rice and stuff like that in the middle of the day or pasta I'll save that for later on in the day because obviously when it comes to um, Bulking naturally keeping in mind the fact that you know to be able to have success with it You'd be getting in a lot of carbs um, And in my sort of case, I'm not actually having a shitload of protein like my protein is only like 140 ish at the moment um, 140 to 160 grams, um, but my carbs are up at about 550 grams. So I've got to make sure that you know I don't have a shitload of meat, or in in in, in some cases for lunchtime any meat in my actual first meal. But um, yeah, this meal was awesome, super duper nice. Uh, when it comes to salads and stuff like that, I love to include things like a fruit sauce or a nut sauce and things like that to be able to give texture variety. In this case, you would have seen that um that purple stuff was some um, uh, beetroot dip. Um, that gave it a lot of extra flavor. Um, goji berries was awesome to have in this as well as some nectarine. Um, and I put in some 100% fat-free balsamic. I don't usually track that while I'm bulking given the calories are so low. Um, and that's what always makes my salads taste, you know, really nice. Now, when it comes to me and my bulking, I believe one of the keys that's allowed me to stay very lean while smashing this out isn't because I'm doing heaps of cardio like I do it probably about twice a week. Um, not for very long and we'll go for short walks with my dog Simba um, just from a means of keeping my TDE levels nice and high and my metabolism um, you know, nice and strong and help me to recover from all my leg day workouts and back workouts and stuff like that that's sort of why I do it but um, when it comes to you know like me one of the biggest things that I'm consistent with is just smashing my intake I haven't had any YOLO days or anything like that or cheat days or whatever so far this bulk um, probably about say, or say for example my intake is 3700 at the moment probably about just under 3000 of it is dedicated to me eating as much nutrient dense food as I can and then the remaining intake is dedicated to just whatever I want so in the past when I've tried to bulk I stuffed up in the area of like I made my intake super duper high like four and a half thousand but I YOLO ate absolutely whatever I wanted to and yes I gained some some size but no muscle it was pretty much just fat my face just bloated up I just looked shit I wasn't performing well in the gym and it was just you know it wasn't very good so I encourage you that when it comes to yourself and if you're trying to bulk at the moment um, really try and keep it as nutrient dense as you can because that's one of the biggest things about flexible dieting is that people think that you just YOLO eat and purposefully try and get in as much you know junk food as you can um, whereas the focus is, as you probably know, or if you aren't aware, is to make sure that you're getting in a lot of nutrient-dense foods. You're pretty much to an extent almost eating hashtag clean for the bulk of it, but then you're just knowingly uh, making the fun foods fit, um, you know, but in a 20 to 30% sort of scenario, right? Because the whole idea here is that, you know, when it comes to, say for example, bulking, your performance in the gym is even more important than your overall nutrition. So when it comes to say for example my training and stuff like that, where I'm doing so well at the moment is that my lifts are so incredibly strong. My deadlifts is the strongest it's ever been. My squats are the strongest I've ever been. Same as my bench, just everything is the strongest it's ever been and that's because of progressive overload. Um, you know, structure in the gym, doing five workouts across the week rather than training every day like I used to in the past. And obviously, you know, it's paying off. Eight kgs so far, literally in 11 weeks. Um, I started at just over 75. Um, and as of this morning, my weight average is 83, which is just insane. So I'm committing to bulking for the rest of the year. So we'll see how high we can get that up. So in future videos, if you want to see, you know, more, you know, of, of I guess, full day of eating type scenarios, comment below and let me know. And um, you know, obviously I want to make sure that the videos that I post in this channel and stuff are as related to the stuff that you guys want to be seeing. So on that's meal one done. I'll see you later in meal two.
By the end of this dinner party, will you be all right with this? Is that a deal breaker? If I did to you what you did to me with Davina, would you have stayed with me? You're not ready to commit. So now we've got dinner time voiceover, one of my favorite meals of the day. So one of the things that I love to have on the weekend is pasta and shit loads of it. So this brand here specifically, I find makes amazing pasta. Um, you know, as I always say, leave it to the pros. <laughs> I'm shit at making pasta. Um, but hey, all I've got to do here is just boil it. It's ready in five minutes. And these roast veggies, seriously, an epic way to be able to get in a shitload of fiber and um, really, really good as well. Like if I wasn't bulking, this meal that you see right here, this is one that I would probably have, um, you know, like I probably wouldn't have any of this sort of actual pasta, but I would boil up a shitload of veggies like this, pumpkin, onion, carrot, um, maybe a bit of sweet potato, that sort of thing. Just, you know, bake the shit out of it. Um, load it with heaps of um, spices and stuff like that and have it with some pasta sauce but then actually probably maybe have it with a bit of chicken breast or something like that and it can actually be a very high volume nutrient dense meal but obviously because this is bulky I needed a shitload of carbs that's why I had this amount of pasta um, it went down an absolute treat it is something that um, you know is quite loaded with calories like this whole entire meal just checking out you know my fitness power now at the end of the day the whole entire dinner itself had 1,453 calories, 1,022 of those calories were actually from the pasta itself. Um, but you know, hey, like this is the beautiful thing about bulking, you can be making it so accustomed to yourself. So five days a week, um, you know, in terms of Monday, Tuesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in terms of my lifting days, um, you know, I don't do intermittent fasting. What I usually do is I have some pre and post workout nutrition as well as carbs and stuff during a workout. And then, you know, like I'll have a epic smoothie and stuff after my workout. And then I won't actually eat until about one or two. And then obviously just afternoon meal and stuff like that from there. Whereas when it's a rest day, this is when I get a bit more flexibility and fun, you know, I guess time to be able to make my meals a bit more exciting. Um, and as you've obviously seen just here, you know, like this is where I prefer to go intermittent fasting style. Don't actually eat until about two-ish, give or take. And then, um, you know, monster, monster first meal of the day, might have an afternoon meal, but in this case I didn't today. Monster dinner and then big dessert. And then, you know, hey, as you can see, fairly nutrient dense for the bulk of it. And then, you know, like a few calories for the fun stuff at the end. So we're ready for dessert. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Let me flip you around so you can see what we've got as a bit of a two course dessert in terms of how I've planned it. So this is how the, um, the bars turned out. As you can see, it's kind of got like a, a base layer to it and then a, uh, a chocolate layer to it. So we're gonna be having four of these and then we're gonna be rocking with some uh, bum bum bum, this epic connoisseur ice cream. Not the whole lot, just a little bit. So this is a, uh, a flavor my mate Luke recommended to me. It actually tastes really, really nice. So we're gonna be rocking with a bit of that as well. 
life hack is microwave it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and it means you'll be able to scoop easier. So we're gonna get this all set up and then we're gonna eat. So let us see how this glorious creation tastes. Dessert, round one, boys and girls. Mmm. Yeah, that ice cream's on point. Nice amount of coconut flavor going on. Uh, the fudge comes through afterwards. It's not too dense like some of the other connoisseur ice cream flavors. Highly recommend this. Good stuff. Very good. Happy with that. Mmm. Now what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take off that top layer. Let's now have a bite of this and see how this tastes. Mmm. Mmm. Now you just love it when you come up with a winner. Mmm. That's enough to make even your boy Pete Evans moist. <laughs> oh, yum. That is seriously good. So I'm gonna mung away on these four. And smash out the rest of this ice cream. And I'll see you for some dessert too. Food porn. Mmm. Okay, so dessert round one went down an absolute treat. It is 6.57, I realized that I forgot to show you a few of those <laughs> during the day, but trust me, we haven't been cheating or anything like that. This has just been an epic Sunday full day of eating. It's been so good and so much tasty food, seriously. <laughs> um, but yeah, that dessert first one went down an absolute treat. Those four of the little YOLO chocolate bars, I call them, Excuse me, in other words, it's some of the healthiest stuff I've ever made all year. Um, as well as that connoisseur ice cream. So as you would have just seen, some little snippets. We're gonna be rocking with some, um, these are some brioche hot cross buns that you can get from uh, both Woolies and Coles do them, I've seen. And we're gonna be rocking with some lemon curd spread between them, toasted in the sandwich press. This is a game changer, stay tuned. Given that it's Easter coming up very soon, you know, it was really nice to get into some hot cross buns. And, um, you know, seriously, hot cross buns with lemon curd, if you haven't tried it, you need to get amongst it. But what I'd love to hear in the comments below, why don't you let me know what you like to have your hot cross buns with? Or even just what sort of hot cross buns you like in general. Are you team brioche? Are you team normal? Or are you chalk chip? Um, you know, I'd love to hear. So here we have it, Legend, the last voiceover for this video. Really hope you've enjoyed so far seeing a full day of eating in terms of bulking, how it can actually look like. Uh, one of the biggest reasons that I find that people suck at bulking is that they aren't consistent enough. They do too many YOLO meals and YOLO days and stuff like that. But then also they can't handle the aspect of, I guess, losing some definition because let's face it, like it is awesome to be able to stay lean year round. But then what happens is that obviously when you are lean and you see people that have got more muscle than you, you're like, ah, holy shit. Um, you know, the self-comparison kicks in and you know, we then want to bulk and add some more muscle. But then obviously when you are bulking, you see people that are shredded as fuck and you get jealous of them as well and then it makes you want to cut and you know hey like welcome to the um you know to i guess the health and fitness lifestyle hey like it's never ending you always are on the journey of self-development and self-improvement um but you know hey like this is this is me at the moment i'm the heaviest i've ever been since i used to be a fatty in the past um when i was up at around the 120 ish mark so you know, this is all new territory for me you know i'm almost three months into my bulk with at least eight months ish still to go so i'm really excited to see how far i can take it and i hope that you're excited to share in my journey so we finished up today right on point um you know three calories left to spare 
um, as you can see just here. So we came in really nice and close. Here's me logging all the you know the bits and bobs um, you know from my intake today. If you haven't added me on my fitness pal, feel free to do so personally. My username is Angus Beef Burger, A N G U S Beef, and then Burger. I would love for you to add me. The macros for today, so I had 160 grams of protein, and as you would have seen, only one of the meals actually had a bit of meat, meat which was some extra lean pork. Uh, mince, 465 grams of carbs, 40 grams of fiber, and 131 grams of fat. So not quite perfect on the macros um, you know, department, but hey, overall calories was on point, which is what matters most anyway. Um, so really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please, if you are, you are a returning subscriber and you like this, I mean, sorry, and you enjoyed this video, give it a like appreciate the support and once again if you are new to the channel really really encourage you to, to to subscribe press notifications so that you get notified whenever i go live so that way you don't miss a single cent of the action there's so much to learn weave throughout this channel all sorts of insight into flexible dieting how to train properly entertainment food challenges all that sort of good stuff so i really hope to see you again thanks so much for watching this video and taking the time to check this out see you next time youtube take care